Hello guys, welcome back to more PS5 Master League. Today, we start off with some negotiations and things. So, yeah, in the last episode we looked at a few transfers, we had a match, we had kits, we had baldies. There was so much going on, there were so many things, it was just hard to keep up with almost. Uh, in this episode, we start off with, well these ones are just the contract manuals that we're going for. So that's all right, that's taken care of. But um, here, decided we're going to go for a double swoop on Ajax. Yeah, a lot might not agree that we should be doing this, but one thing I did notice um, looking through our team in the new formation that we want to play is that um, we don't really have a lot of central midfielders, really. Um, you know, like if a DMF uh, centre midfield kind of areas and stuff like that. So Dijon would add a new dynamic to the team almost, if you want to call it that. Um, and Schneider is another one. Mm, figured to go for it, Schneider. Um, if I can, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. There, here it is. So yeah, we've we've applied for this. We're going to swap him for Rabinho. So that is something that we are doing, if possible. I know we've just acquired Rabinho back in the previous window, but this is a game. Things change. It's not real life. <laughs> so you know, if it was real life. Um, you know, Liverpool would be lambasted to hell about what they're doing. Um, but no, this is a game, so we're going for it. And this one, we're gonna. I know it's really cheeky to do this, but we're gonna swap him for Foy De Jong if possible. We've gone for a five-year deal. By default, it went for four. But we're gonna try for five anyway. Um, transfer. Uh, 1,500 on top of that, salary up to 800 and going to give them Foy as well. So that is what we are trying in this episode. Whether or not it happens, we will find out later. Um, so yeah, that is all we're going to try for now. It's that really awkward week where a lot of contracts are being um, negotiated, like renewals. So we can't even like look at every single player and try to acquire every player at this point. That could be possible. Um, obviously the squad is full so we'd have to let some players go. But we'll look into it into the next episode. So we're just going to go ahead and go play the Oxen in this episode. So join us there. And here we are, we're against the Oxen guys. Let's do this. So we're at Hampden Park as well up in Scotland. That was a really bad voice. Probably. It's not my best. I can do a Shrek. So just bear with me on that one. But here we are. And um, yeah, Rooney is actually going to sit up front in this one because we always play him attacking midfield. But this formation is not really suited for attacking midfield, guys. We don't have attacking midfield anymore with this formation. We're trying out the 4 4 2 yet again. It worked really well in the last one. No Shimizu in this one after he plays so well on that left hand side in the last one. But we're just going to go and we're going to see how this one kicks off. So, yeah. And opportune. Uh. I, can't, I can't believe that just happened there. That's like... Oh! Oh! No, two! How did you miss that? Yeah, sometimes I question whether or not the patch makes the ball bouncier sometimes or something <laughs> oh my dears I can't believe that that should have been 1-0 already um well anyway we're yeah we're up in Scotland we've got company at centre back as you can see there I think we've pretty much got a full strength team out just about because I just want to see how this goes it's a good practice match for us to test a few things if possible well it is possible you get the point that's uh, that could have ended better. Um, so yeah, Rooney is going to go up front. Torres is going to be on the bench. And um, you know, I mean, maybe this is an opportunity for Rooney and more other players to get more experience and stuff like that. Because if we're just playing the same formation over and over, and we buy players, you know, whoever it might be, they might not particularly fit into that formation particularly well. And you know, you, you, if, if you're just playing it over and over, it, it kind of gets to a point where you kind of feel like you need to change it up. Even if it, even if it's working well. Even if it's working well, you know. Um, things can happen. Rooney with a goal immediately. Where has that come from, I hear you ask? Well, he had the space. He had the time to hit it. He did that. 
and uh, ends up in the net and that is 1-0 and I think it's Ramos with the assist as well so that's not bad but, um, yeah, so we've got Mafio in DMF today um, he played that in the last game he played really well um, thing about that is we've got Mascherano as well um, who can play that area but he's more of a defensive he's not really meant for central midfield Mascherano which is why I kind of want to bring De Jong in because I think that would be a really good excellent signing um, so if we're, we're sort of making De Jong our target this summer you know what I mean I know it's maybe not exciting because you know we like to go for the big strikers everybody loves to do that um, but we're not doing that and somebody needs to mark whoever's at the back post there for the Oxen oh that was that was sloppy defending that even though we got it away I felt like it was sloppy so yeah that's something we need to do and here's Mutu and it's Mutu and his shot is blocked so I feel like we're having miles more chances in this formation than uh, you know what I mean some of like the the, the 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 final games of the season where we had the draw against oh Rooney seriously dude all you had to do was hit that you could be up for a hat he could have had a hat trick by now he could have actually had a hat trick by now because it, that earlier chance when the goalkeeper made a mistake oh what a good save by Czech um he he's just had that chance he scored the one earlier you know what I mean that could have been it man could have been straight straight back in it could have been redeemed in one you know match what are we doing this is not good. We need to get across. Some defensive problems. What is Cliche doing there? I don't know what he was doing. Cliche? Wait a minute. Cliche's got good stamina? Hmm. So I'm liking these balls through as well. It's got to be, ah, oh, because Gerard is, is, is being utilised a little bit more, you might say, because he's being able to put balls through um, to Rooney and co um, in that area of the field, which I'm, I'm loving that so far. And here's Gerard. Here is Mutu. Yeah. Keeper didn't get a hold of it, but there you go. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the chances so far that we're having though. This is really nice. It's back out here. Like I say, we could have been free up by now. Could have been. Could have been. Is he still at Arsenal? Is cliche. Is one of my questions. Ugh. Oh, Rooney. Rooney's getting in there, man. He's he's all over him. This is much better. For, yeah, I mean, because it's like the thing is, though, right? When you play a player up front, you expect him to score. That's what he's there to do. Um, and it's kind of like that whole thing with Ronaldinho where we played him on the wing and he was okay, but he wasn't like, oh, that's a goal, is it? Oh, my days. I think that was Smith's shot initially. Good save by Chet, but look at that. Three players in front of it. Iniesta, Puyol, and Reese, I believe, there. Just. No, eh. It shouldn't be coming down to that. Somebody just needs to get in there and clear it. Check there again. There's a good opportunity if you can bang this out quick enough. That's gone out. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, but what was I saying? Um, yeah, like the back end of last season, we had like the United game. It was only 1-0. We had the Rangers game. That was only 1-0. And then we had the final game against West Ham. 0-0. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's not exciting enough. You know what I mean? We need... We was having chances, but... Do you know what I mean? It just feels like the, the formation and whatnot has just ran its course. And we need something different. And here we are, basically. But, um... No, what I was saying about the whole Ronaldinho thing. In Season 5, we put him up front for a season. Um... He really shouldn't probably play where we did, but it worked out. He got a, quite a lot of goals, and I was really enjoying his play that season. So, like I said, it, it's it's beneficial um, sometimes to do that. Uh, 
And that's out wide to Risa. It's very nicely done. It's Risa. Uh, should have crossed it. Didn't cross it. 1-0 at the break, though. Should have been, like, free by now. But overall, happy with that. Definitely. And we're off again. And, uh, yeah, didn't see a whole lot of Mutu in um, that one. That first half, I should say. Um... It was more about Rooney, wasn't it? He's like, Rooney's taking over all of a sudden. A lot of questions about, like, whether or not we should keep Mutu because he's, like, 33 going on 34 now. Yeah, he got top goal scorer in the league, but he didn't... There was there was matches where he just didn't look his best anymore. Um, and it's just one of those kind of questionable things. I think, that wasn't it the season before this, he looked a little bit like, mm, we're not... We're not... Uh, we're not... Co confident... Uh, and that's why Smith is one of the top goals. Well, then again, if you lay it on a plate for him, it's just going to be easy, isn't it? So that's something. Dodgy back pass there. Should have gone back to the keeper. A little bit of hesitation. Who was it? Puyol. Yeah, should have gone back to the keeper. Keeper could have just booted it out. There's all. There's all. There's always that. I don't know. Anxiety. <laughs> in my opinion, whether or not when you get the ball in a position like that, if you pass it back to the keeper because if you if the keeper just boots it immediately but there's a defender coming if there's an attacker coming on to him it's possible that the attacker oh oh that was good but never mind um the attack the attacker could get in the way of it and it'll just end up in the net anyway and that's just something you want to avoid altogether Here's Schnellinger, here is company. Uh, dodgy pass again. Dodgy pass again. What are we doing? We've just, in a matter of moments, it's just gone from really good to not so good. That's worrying. There was some dodgy pass in there, and we couldn't get the ball. Well, oh, I mean, Risa did what he tried to do there, but the ball went through his legs. Ramos stopped for some reason. I'm not sure why. We're not playing our complete full strength team, but still, we are playing pretty much just that, which is a little bit concerning. Um, so, uh, make what you will. There's still time yet. We could get back into this. Again, though, just pre-season games, so it's not like it matters that much. Here's Gerard. He needs support in the middle. That's not quite the support he needs. In fact, his cross was very poor there anyway, you might say. That's a free kick. Uh, it's going to be Ronaldo to hammer this one if he can. He can't do it. Oh my, it's just the passing's all gone wrong in this one, hasn't it? It really has. We're meant to be European champions. <laughs> and um, we're not acting that way. Four-time four European champions in a row, I might add. <laughs> and uh, five, five overall. And uh, we're playing very badly here. Then again, this is a good team. And you can't blame Rooney for them chances. Possibly. That's offside. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. We're bringing on a few players. Robben, Torres, uh, and Joe Cole. Uh, we're going to switch some positions around and whatnot. Um, just to try something a little bit different uh, towards the end here. Here's Joe Cole. He needs his support. Where is it? Uh, again, trying to bend that one. Risa can't get in the way of it. Risa's not on the ball in this game. 
Oh my. I mean... Uh, it's off the line! Oh, I think that was company who cleared it. It's just... Oh, we're just being really dodgy in this one. Just makes me think, do we just go back to the old formation now? <laughs> you know, just like, you know what? We, we tried, it failed. <laughs> I think that's a corner. And again, it just players not getting... Maybe it's the formation that's playing a part on the, the amount of players that are in the box. Um, because obviously we've changed it up, so... You might argue that. You might argue. It's Joko. Oh, Joko. It needs to be crossed, that. But the thing is, our crossing has been all over the place as well. We need Shimizu back on that left-hand side. <laughs> he was so good there in the last game. Gerard, and it's Rooney, no, just can't get in possession now, which is the frustrating thing, if you don't have the ball, you can't score, well, most of the time, Schnellinger here, crossed in, uh, 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 what are we doing today, this is ridiculous, this is one of the worst defensive displays I've seen from us in a very long time, Damn, we were more organised in that other form. I noticed in the last game, though, we are a bit all over the place. That pass is going absolutely nowhere. Okay, here's Rooney. It's Gerard. It's Gerard. And it's... Ooh... Do it's debatable that that is very debatable. Robin goes for it. That's another free kick. I'm I'm not even. If it works, it works. <laughs> if it works, it works, guys. It was as simple as that. Torres with the goal there. Mewtwo wasn't looking likely to score today. He's come on. He's had a few ch touches. This should have been defended better, to be honest. Maybe you can say it was just a little blip in the system for the Oxens team there. I mean, oh my gosh. Are you serious with this? I mean, look at this. Three defenders. It goes through the middle man's legs and ends up in. <laughs> I don't even want to know, but that is another late goal in the second consecutive episode here. For this season. Ah, oh, that if that was a through ball, it might have ended up as a goal. We'll never know now. Here's Rooney, though. It's Rooney. Oh, it's Rooney to finish it. It's Rooney. It's Gerard. Yeah! Gerard scores the winning goal twice in a row. In both the opening two preseason games. That is shockingly fantastic. Yeah, a little bit of sweaty edge, but to be honest, was Rooney really gonna score there? I'd rather play it safe. <laughs> then you never know. I mean, to be honest though, with the sweaty edge as they call it, you can easily screw it up. You know, if the pass doesn't go through. But anyway, like, Gerard getting forward there. Yet again, in that cent... I think that was the central midfield, wasn't it? Really nicely done in the end. We somehow made it through that. To the first goal actually went through the defender's legs as well. I don't know who it was, actually. Um... But yeah, so two goals went through the legs of defenders <laughs> and um, then 
Gerard had an easy tap in there. He got an 8.0. He didn't get the man of the match because Rooney got it. To be honest, probably agree with Rooney. He was really good up front there. Maybe some might agree. Move Mutu on, replace him with Rooney or something. Probably a lot would agree with that. I don't really want to get rid of Mutu, but maybe it could be possibly time. I don't know yet. I mean, we still got today and another six um, weeks of pre-season yet. So, yeah. Um, defending... Reset, probably one of the worst games I've ever seen him play. Puyo, he had a bad touch that led to a goal. I mean, it's a tough team. I mean, Smith, he's just really good. And you've got all these players around him supporting him and whatnot. This is a tough team, to be fair. Uh, he even got Melko in there as well. So, yeah. Um, Mafio didn't see a whole lot of him. Iniesta, he came off. Um, Robin came on late. Joe Cole, there wasn't a whole lot of him. Torres got a goal in the end to level it up um, but it was all about Rooney even Ronaldo he was quiet today he wasn't quite a Shimizu you know what I mean but yeah that is that but this is the Oxen team um, so yeah maybe one or two players in there for Stamina Smith <laughs> he could be one <laughs> you know but then again we do have attacking options already so, as it turns out, guys, we have acquired De Jong. And it's still got checks first. We. <laughs> so, yeah, that turned out. Um, Puyo, Fabregas, Iniesta, check, success, breakdown with Ronaldinho, though. He didn't want to do that. Schneider breakdown, too. But I'm happy with the De Jong one. We said we was going to make him have a target. We've bought him at the first chance. Uh, there's been nobody coming in for any of our players, unfortunately, because they never do that. But we haven't spent a whole lot to bring him in, so welcome to Jong. And uh, Foy, well, he had a year back. Um, he scored a couple of goals, I believe, this season, just gone. So, you know, he had a little time, but he's going to go to Ajax now. So, uh, yeah, because Ronaldinho rejected our offer, um, I'm debating whether or not we offer him more salary in the meantime um the only reason i really want to keep hold of him for now is that we could offer him as a part of a swap deal um i'm just not sure he, like i say i mean he had his time when he was playing up front but now it's kind of like are we really going to use him we don't really use him anymore like he it was exciting at first and like the first couple of seasons we had him it was decent but now it's kind of like we don't, we haven't really used him for the past like I don't know three four seasons or whatever it's been, um, and I'm just I'm 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 in a debate of do we just let him go or do we just hold on to him for a swap deal or something I don't know at this current moment in time I'm just so undecided about it. Um, he'd probably do better somewhere else, and we're probably not going to use him. Hmm. It's just such a shame to let a player of his sort of, you know, quality just go like that, you know what I mean? Um, this isn't final. Like, in between now and the next episode, I can easily go back and refuse this, but I'm just going to hit that for now and just see what happens. He's 32, and I think some of his stats have declined and whatnot, and it's just like... Yeah, he, he would be better. He's better in the 4 3 3 formation playing on that left side or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And we don't play that anymore. Um, so we'll see about that one. But um, Dijon is in. He's here. And you know what's weird, guys? You know what's weird? We were just talking about Smith, wasn't we? And he's he's open to negotiate. <laughs> he's open to, to for a move. Um, but he's 31. I mean, the, them stats, though, I mean, they're good. They are good. But Rooney's playing better <laughs> after one game, of course. But it's it's just so... I, I, I could sit here all day debating how I want the team to be or who I go for, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Felipe's there. John, he's at Paris, isn't he? Yeah, we brought him back, didn't we, for like a season. Then it was just like, yeah, his second stint didn't really work out. Uh, Felipe, we had him back. That didn't really work out. Um, we got, didn't we have him? At, I think we had him at one point. Um, wait a minute, Buffon? Are you ki are you kidding me? Buffon is now open to negotiate. Oh man! 
Oh, man. See, I don't... I know I've said I don't want to do it, but I kind of do want to do it just to say we've had him <laughs> at some point. And I'm just like... Ugh. I'm tempted now that he's he's open to negotiate. I'm very tempted. Uh, we can open a trade. Um, could swap him for Ramon as a ch as a cheeky little little thing. <laughs> ah, you see, I I, I talked. I, I th this is what's like just annoying because I talked about how much we didn't need him, and now it's like, oh, I'm open to negotiate now. Screw you, Buffon. That is not on. Ah, I think maybe we might offer Robinho again for Schneider, possibly. Uh, I know we've just acquired Dijon, but, you know, double swoop wouldn't be too bad. Um, so we've got Mascherano. I just want to cover the midfield area, if I'm honest. You know what I mean? Then again, our defence was a bit... <laughs> it's been a bit wobbly. Um, so maybe it could be an idea to get a an extra defender in, possibly, something like that. We was looking at Clichy, wasn't we? Um, is he still at Arsenal? He is at Arsenal. Um, stamina 93, top speed acceleration, very good, very good, 27 years of age, do we go for cliche guys, that might be an idea, uh, we can open a trade, that's all we can really do, don't really want to get rid of Van Dijk though, because we've only just acquired him, Van Dijk is 24, hmm, because we spent a long time going for Van Dijk, and it's just like, oh, if we get rid of him now, it's like, eh. What are we doing, kind of thing? Um, Heitinger, uh, I mean, Heitinger's pretty good. Twenty-eight, um, he's solid. I mean, like it's usually Puyol and Colaccini that get regular first team action, but there's like Heitinger and um, where is he? Company that usually come in uh, for rotation purposes. Um, if I had to pick somebody to leave, it'd probably be Rubinho. Maybe we could swap for Robin instead like i know we've only just bought him but it's all about sorting out problem areas of the field possibly that left back position has always been a problem um not in well not in terms of the first you know regular team play because that's always been risa uh, i'm not going to get rid of risa definitely not not anytime soon definitely our world is recent now 33 but he's still going strong the thing is um, it's always been about that, that rotation player, that, that second choice left back has always been a, a head scratcher. We've gone from player to player. There was like Philippe, we've had Mafio in that area. We've had um, Ashley Cole at one point, if you remember that. You know, I mean, we've been through like so many players. We've got Van Dijk now. Clichy could be possibly. I mean, Van Dijk, where can he play? Side back and side midfield. I mean, we don't need him in the midfield. Mm. I just want somebody with good stamina to take that area when needed. You know I mean, like kind of like how Reese has got. I mean, Reese's stamina is only 94, but he's one of these that is he constantly wants to play. Number of different factors come into it rather than just the stamina stat, obviously um, itself. So that's something I'm thinking about. But I need time to think about this. So I am going to possibly leave it there for today. Um, because I'm rambling too much, um, but we managed to get Dijon, which I'm very happy with, and in the next one, we are going to be playing, I believe it's Galatasaray, isn't it? Yes, it's Galatasaray for this one, and we're going to be playing this one uh, at Galatasaray Stadium, we're going to be aware, um, if it's, if it's in the patch, <laughs> which it should hopefully be, um, and we'll do that, guys, so, yeah, oh, I think the Atatek Stadium is actually in the, um, patch actually so we might i might actually do that as something a little bit different um so yeah that's it for today guys join us next time pretty good win in the end there lots of dodgy defending going on as per usual and yeah negotiations head scratches what do we do see you next time correct subscribe and share as always take care